North Korea's diplomatic thaw looking more like a deep freeze. New images show Kim Jong-un riding a white horse, touring snow-covered battle sites on Mount Pektu, his second visit to the Sacred Mountain in two months. Our general is really a person who heaven sent to us. Two years ago, I visited Mount Pektu. North Koreans believe Kim's father was born here. Kim has a track record of visiting the sacred site before making big announcements. Whenever he goes up to this Mount Pektu, he does something, um, you know, to, to give a shock to the rest of the world. The shock of short-range missile launches is wearing off. Last week, the 13th weapons test this year, a year that began with diplomatic disappointment, the collapse of summit talks in Vietnam. We've seen more than a dozen launches since the failed Hanoi summit. Why do you think Kim keeps doing this? He thinks that he can pressure the U.S. a little bit by little bit escalating uh, on this front. Those escalations don't seem to phase U.S. President Donald Trump. Uh, like sending rockets up, doesn't he? That's why I call him Rocket Man. I like him, he likes me. On Tuesday, Trump expressed confidence in diplomacy. Time to strike a deal may be running out. North Korea gave the U.S. an ultimatum, a breakthrough by the end of the year. That's less than a month away. Their latest cryptic warning came just this week. It says it's entirely up to the U.S. what Christmas gift it will select. They're certainly going to make some sort of, of political statement, you know, uh, around Christmas. Even President Trump's point man on North Korea admits the new year. They will be met with fire and fury. Could revive old tensions. I can imagine um, that we could uh, see a possibility of going back to some of the more provocative steps uh, that preceded the start of this diplomacy to begin with. Provocative steps that could include nuclear and long-range missile testing. President Trump's three face-to-face -face meetings with Kim failed to resolve the most sensitive issue, sanctions. This U.S. computer expert is accused of traveling to Pyongyang, advising North Koreans how to avoid sanctions using cryptocurrency. That's a violation of U.S. law. Virgil Griffith's lawyer disputes the allegations and says his client looks forward to his day in court. Kim is urging North Koreans to build a self-reliant economy, immune from sanctions. Everyone who lives in this new town helped build it. North Koreans are being told to brace themselves for what could be a long standoff. Will Ripley, CNN.